It's the loudest, most politically incorrect TV show on the planet. Everybody, come on in. It's time for Tommy's Garage. With your host, Tommy Atkins. Your mechanics, Rosie Rosencrantz. Houston filmmaker, Joey Tirado. The Chocolate Thunder himself, Gavin Babineau. And Brittany Lee. With special guest, comedian Mike Rayo. And comedian Sam Griesbaum. I'm Matthew the Voice Gidry. It's time for Tommy's Garage. Is anybody out here ready for the big news? Maybe. Yeah. 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 yeah, all right. Let's start with politics in Washington. Un but I repeat myself. A violent Democrat attacked Republicans, but not with a baseball bat, not with a can of mace. No, no more small stuff this time with a high-powered rifle. The Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, George Soros Democrat team and dream has come true, Rosie. Yeah, 93% of all crimes committed in the United States of America are committed by Democrats. Let's not ban guns, let's ban Democrats! Yeah. Yeah. Bam, right there. I so think I got an amen well, back there, yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> totally feasible, too. Um, yeah. I think this sad soul just got tired of feeling the Trump burn, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Because... <laughs> what? So because he was a Sanders supporter. Yeah. yeah. So he, so he was getting burned by Trump. He got burned. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, don't try to explain your jokes. <laughs> I, I liked it. Bail us out, Sam. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm incensed. Uh, every time there has ever been any like shooting that. that happens, the first thing they do is accuse conservatives of it. This right. time we know the guy is a communist Bernie bot, and now they're trying to make excuses for that. There needs to be a set of rules in place that apply equally to everybody, or we need to admit that there are just no friggin' rules. Look, uh, that's yeah. that's my thing. Here's the, here's the one thing I get out of this. He took 60 shots, didn't kill anybody. He's a storm. <laughs> he's like he's like all Democrats, stupid, violent. He can't even shoot straight. Exactly. Stay here on this one. Yeah, Terry McCall of Governor Virginia, one of the most corrupt human beings in the history of mankind. Followed up with this little gem right here. But there are too many guns on the street. We lose 93 million Americans a day to gun violence. 93 million people a day. It's just something. Uh, sure, just a day. Ninety-three million, 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 million a day, Rosie. <laughs> so with this common core map, we should run out of American victims in like what four days? Yeah. 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 Did you see the idiots in the background nodding? Yeah. Ninety-three million. Ninety-three million idiots, morons. <laughs> I guess. I guess we got to educate these folks. This isn't uh, uh, stuffing the mailbox with yeah. votes. This is murder, people. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> no, really? No. No. No, it's democratic math. The point That's is what they do with the election. Not, not, point is, it's not being missed. Well, the, the yeah. trick is they started with the 93 million so they could admit that they were padding the figures there. But what they don't tell you is they're padding the figures at 93. They're including yeah. suicides, they're including accidents. They're including any kind of justifiable shooting. The real numbers are nowhere near that. And it, it's time to start calling them on this. Yep. Yeah, look, exactly. Since we're on the subject, there's a play in, uh, in the park in New York City. It's an updated version of Julius Caesar, which features Donald Trump being assassinated. <laughs> well, some advertisers like Delta Airlines and Bank of America pulled out, but CNN, Time Warner, and New York Times are staying in. Come on, nobody really ever gets hurt, right, Rosie? Right. Yeah, and I heard that Hillary Clinton is now up for the new lead in a new movie about Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was about her, actually. <laughs> Well, uh, now with the new budget constraints, uh, Shakespeare in the Parks me putting on a, uh, a Punch and Judy show, puppet show <laughs> for the next seven years. <laughs> That's all we're going to have left. Yeah. 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 I, I hear that American Airlines is going to put on Julius Caesar, and Caesar will be played by an Asian guy who's assassinated by the TSA and flight attendants. <laughs> 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 That's good. That's good. Look, they're, they're, they're doing this little boycott thing. Look, I, that's why I don't buy things from liberal companies. Not, I, not just because they don't disagree with them, but 
Who wants to buy something that's made by liberals? You want to buy, you want to buy a car made by liberals? No. no. You want to buy a house built by liberals? No. You want to watch TV shows and plays by liberals? No. No, they all suck. That's why we watch Tommy's Garage. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I don't want to buy their sponsors crap either. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. Now, this, now, here is a true catastrophe. Check this one. Everybody's seen this, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. That's, terrible. Now, that's terrible right there. Rosie, that is awful. Yeah, Al Gore has to stop lighting his farts. Hasn't he used up all his carbon <laughs> credits by now? <laughs> <laughs> well, sad to say, but that's what happens when ISIS becomes a landlord. Oh! Oh, oh nice! That's our first tenderizer yeah. right there. Right there. That's <laughs> I have to admit that seeing this, I understand why our neighbors across the pond do not allow their citizens to have guns or knives. They can't even handle building materials and matches. Oh. <laughs> or refrigerators is what they can't handle a refrigerator. Well, you know, I've got to bet that place is built by a liberal. Uh, look, first, the bridge falls down, now the apartment. They're going to need a new song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do I give myself a tenderizer? Yeah, yeah. One? All right. Yeah. Back in Washington, Attorney General Jeff Sessions was dragged in front of another Senate committee. It was like this General right Sessions, respectfully, you're not answering the well, question. Well, what is the question? The question <laughs> is, Mr. Comey said that there were matters with respect to the recusal that were problematic and he couldn't talk about them. What are they? I, that, why don't you tell me? <laughs> there are none, Senator Wyden. There are none. I can tell you that for absolute certainty. We can, we, you tell, this is a secret innuendo being leaked out there about me, and I don't appreciate it, and I've tried to give my best and truthful answers to any committee I've appeared before, and it's really, a, 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 people are suggesting through innuendo uh, that I have been not honest about matters, and I've tried to be honest. You know, bam! You know what, for that, for that right there, he gets a bell right there. So, let's look, for, you know what he wanted to say? You want to say bull the whole right. time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But finally, a Republican tells the Democrats where to stick it, Rosie, it's about yeah. time. <laughs> finally! Jeff Sessions scored the first knockout by a white guy since Rocky II. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, one, one thing I learned was uh, Jeff Sessions is in this whole Russian spy drama. He's no Jason Bourne in the Bourne identity. He looks a little more like Jason Bourne in Enter the Coffin. <laughs> oh, that's a little. That's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a little hammer right a there. Little, a little uh, hammer. Yeah, yeah. I'm too nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm Start too, getting meaner. Okay. What I find absolutely hilarious is that suddenly the Democrats are seeing obstruction of justice and, and an obfuscation in the testimony of Sessions when they couldn't see that in the I do not recall and I plead the Fifth Amendment that was declared during the last administration 400 billion times. Yeah, yeah. or the one before and the one before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You're right. Look, if every, if every Republican fought back like Jeff Sessions, they wouldn't be like the wussies of Washington like they are. Yeah. Speaking of, John McCain, Republican senator of Vietnam, says that, <laughs> <laughs> says that American leadership was better under Barack Obama, Rosie. What? what? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and after prison, he can go back to acting. He was great in, in as the banjo boy in Deliverance. <laughs> oh, that's and, and John McStain needs his diaper changed. Oh, man, but he deserves it. Or the canary in right. Hanoi. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh, there we go. We have an audience spell for Doc. Doc rocks. Well, um, I think somebody needs to check John McCain's sugar levels. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does this guy remember, you know, the Syrian chemical bombing? Hello? It was pretty definitive, I thought. You, you got me with a swig of beer in there. I almost spit it out all over the place. Don't, don't do that again. I think part of the problem is, as old as John McCain is, yeah, he might have said that, but he says a lot of stuff, like, Orchards. This all used to be orchards. <laughs> <laughs> he, and, he, and, he and his daughter are the political equivalent of the Kardashians. We yeah, need yeah. to get rid of them. You know? Yeah. Look, if you define leadership uh, by holding the communist manifesto to your heart and grabbing your ankles while Nancy Pelosi drives a two-foot-long communist double <laughs> up your butt, then yes, you're right, Conrad McCain. <laughs> you can right. say I can now. You can say communist? I guarantee you that he's going to get a plate down right there. By the way, while all this is
is happening. Puerto Rico voted to become an American state. Just what you want. Another state full of lazy liberals on welfare. Ooh. And while you're having fun, let's say hello to our Tommy's Glass announcer, Matthew Gidry. Matthew, what's happening, buddy? Hey, Tommy. I have a question. Yeah. Do you ever watch Star Trek? Uh, sure, once in a while, I guess, yeah. Well, how come we never see any Puerto Ricans on Star Trek? Oh, uh, why? Yeah. why? Because it's in the future. <laughs> Puerto Ricans still don't have a job. Oh, what's wrong with that? I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> That's a terrible Amen. There you go. He's the only Puerto Rican with a job. Case in point. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Winner! That was me. Oh, no, you're the that's not right. <laughs> Later on, we have the bigger lottery and the professionals, but first, it's time for Worldwide <laughs> Panic, only on Tommy's Garage! Yes! You locked your deadbolt, but this happened. Why? Because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins. You need armor, city, doors. There were over one million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone. But when deadbolts fail, armor, city, doors protects. Guaranteed. 713-487-5539. Or stop by ArmorCityDoors.com. Remember, deadbolts do not stop kick-ins. But when deadbolts fail, you need Armor City Doors. ArmorCityDoors.com. Healthcare system broken. The FDA broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com. Hey, what are you doing? I'm uh, tweeting. Tweeting? What's that? It's Twitter. Twitter? What's Twitter? Tweet. Tweet. You don't tweet? I, I fart. Is that the same thing? Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bowl. How about a good karaoke bar? The Bayou City Bowl. Great nightclub. The Bayou City Bowl. A good ice the house. The Bayou City Bowl. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bowl. Massage therapist. The Bayou City Bowl. Hair salon. Bayou City Bowl. Nail salon. Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bondsman. Wild night. It's for a friend. friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bowl has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Bay Town to Katy. Kingwood to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City, City Bowl. Bowl. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. from around the world. Joining us, please welcome professional comedian, the big man, Mike Rayo. Yeah. Yeah. And he's better than ever. Good bad, not bad, bad. Gotta work on my ebonics here. It's Mr. Chuck yeah. the Thunder himself, Gavin yeah. Babino. Chuck the Thunder! Wait, I have to work on my ebonics too, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happened this week around the world. In Ireland, they have a new prime minister. You can say he's a little different. He's only 38 years old. He's half Indian, dot, not that a <laughs> and he's gay, Rosie. So a gay prime minister? They yeah. must want to keep up with uh, Canada. Yeah. Oh. 
Think about that for a minute. Hey, he gives as good as he gets, so he's a perfect politician. Mean, but not necessarily untrue. Well, co look, congratulations to him. He's here. He's queer. Sam Smith and Elton John could do like a duet for his inauguration, right? But who's going to be the girl in that one? Oh. 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 <laughs> who's the, well, we have Ireland. The question is, who's the pecker who's the pecky, right? Oh. Sinner? I say that? Is that a hammer? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, good for them. Uh, I actually, uh, they just announced today, he announced his first two cabinet ministers, uh, Patrick Fitzmichael and Michael Fitzpatrick. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, that's like, well, that a hammer, that's some boss me. <laughs> Look, I don't care if he screws horses on Main Street. If that guy cuts taxes and fills the potholes, I'm pulling the lever for that dude. Yeah. <laughs> did, I, did I just say that? Whose lever are we talking about here, Tom? Hey, man, from Tommy's Garage, good luck, buddy. Seriously, wish him, everybody wish him well in Ireland, right? Yeah. Wish him well. Yeah. Support Brexit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Look, you know, I know a lot of people take up the old dirt road just to have three pints of Guinness every day. You know, well, they're Irish, of course, right? Yeah. right. Hey, the Canadians just canceled a global warming study at the Arctic Circle. Why? Because there's too much ice. ice. The record amount of ice, Rosie, the irony just does not stop. What a bunch of ice holes. <laughs> That's hammer and a tender ice. You know, 60 oh. years ago, there were 3,500 polar bears. Now only 36,000 remain. <laughs> How will they ever survive? Wow. We need ISIS. <laughs> yeah! We have an audience bell! Audience bell! Oh. Ouch. Nice. I like that guy. I do too. Yeah. yeah. Why, why is it the only black guy is the funniest out there? Why is that? Oh. I'm here to go take Gavin. That's kind of a tenderizer right there. Yeah, you got it. Gavin. <laughs> I got guns. It's okay. So, anyway. Yeah. A little turf war wow. here. Hey, don't forget, I'm second share now. I'm trying to, you know, yeah. make got, that move. Got to represent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, first of all, I'm so glad that I'm not Canadian. Yeah. I'm sure that everybody can agree, right? Hey. That's crazy. That's, that's, that's Louisiana that's French Cajun, 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 baby. From a kitchen. Yeah, there you go. Hey, our sausage is better, okay? Hey. Ah. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> so when did we lose control of the show? I don't know. I About don't know. three years ago. Yeah. I don't know. You know what, Mike? Take us out. <laughs> you, thank you. Well, I do have a black hand grenade. There you go. Oh. Uh, You're sitting next to a black hand grenade. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the joke. Um, no, you won't. <laughs> facts meet fiction. Nothing spoils a good scientific propaganda study than Mother Nature screaming, you're an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Look, look I'm, I make this promise. In a few years, the Earth's going to cool. They're going to scream about global cooling, and they're going to blame Donald Trump, I guarantee you. Look, 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 at least some of us will be dressed for it. In Montreal, Canada, how about this precious little kid? Pretty cute, huh? Meet cute little eight-year-old Nemus Golden, also known as Lactatia. What? Lactatia? Uh, yes, that's uh, his Vogue name. This uh, little eight-year-old boy is a drag queen. Woo! Uh, that's right. His I think that anyone can do what they want in life. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. If you want to be a drag queen and your parents don't let you, you need new parents. If you want to be a drag queen and your friends don't let you, you need new friends. Yes, All right, girl. boys and girls and everything in between, Watch stop what you're doing because Watch today yeah, yeah. we're with the fabulous Lactatia. How are you? Super pumped. I'm going to I'm gonna walk the runway and I'm going to vote. Uh, we can't wait to see you vote. You that's just a little too creepy. His mama does his makeup, Rosie. So this is in Canada, right? Yes. Looks like we might need to build a northern border wall first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I heard that when he when he hits puberty, he's changing his name to Secretia. Oh! Oh, that's a admiral. Oh man, that's ouch. Wow. <laughs> so wait, so we That's have why I'm first chair. <laughs> I'll get there at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Look, so I saw this and I was like, white kid, ignorant ghetto stage name, overly flamboyant, 
did Tawong Fu finally hit the Canadian theater? For <laughs> 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 I, don't know. I don't know. When I saw this, I threw up in my mouth a little. Um, you got to hand it to the Canadians. This is the most creative form of child abuse yes. I have yeah. ever yes. seen. Uh, dressing your kid up to attract pedophiles. In a related story, uh, zombie Michael Jackson uh, was recently seen uh, roaming the streets of Montreal. So. <laughs> and, and, could, and can you tell the difference? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Sonny, I just want you to know, just watch your young man. This is where you're headed. Ready for this? No. There you go. Oh. Yeah, hit one more. Right. Oh, nice one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. There you go. Oh, no, he didn't! That's what happens, young man. If you, if you, <laughs> that's what your future looks like. In London, scientists have discovered if you suppress the part of your brain that controls reasoning, it stimulates creativity. Rosie, have you done any of this kind of research? That's what I was Well, they're, they're doing electric shock on the brain, so does that mean if, to, if Joey sticks his tongue in a light socket, he'll be funnier? Yeah. Like he's done it before. Oh, hey, awesome. no, don't worry about electric shock. Just go out and get stoned. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Don't get stoned in Southwest Asia. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking from the voice of experience, yeah. we get a hammer out back here. That's another story. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> my first thought as I saw this was, no. <laughs> really? I'm sorry, but this, it's true. So if you don't <laughs> use your brain, then you're all of a sudden creative because you have no logic, right? Yeah. yeah. So is that why these kids get these stupid degrees and go work for Starbucks? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Nice. Because they can be the, the most creative yeah, baristas there is. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I don't know. If this were true, that would mean liberals would be, I don't know, actors and artists. And, <laughs> oh, oh, wait a yeah. Wait a minute. About that? <laughs> wait, you know what? Yeah. Oh, wait. You're on to something, Mike. Yeah, you, you, you know what? Not using your brain and reason also leads to, leads to liberalism, socialism, and man buns. Ooh. Oh, oh no, not the man buns. Good. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, you, know, you know, personally, I've done some personal research on this rethink suppression thing. It typically involves alcohol. and. It's pretty bad because every time I get drunk, I have visions of me having sex in a dumpy hotel room with an ugly, scary monster. Then I paint that picture. Want to see it? No! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my God. In Morocco, scientists have discovered the oldest human fossil from 300,000 years ago. Rosie, that's a long time ago. Yeah, and, and they were also found to be in, in a line at the prehistoric Department of Motor Vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> that's a hammer. I think we, they should make like some kind of a reality show for these barista kids to go back to a time like this and to see if they could function since they don't believe in hunting. They don't believe in farming. I'd like to see where is Whole Foods 100,000 years ago? Ah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Whole, yeah. Whole, Foods, no Starbucks and Whole, Whole Foods 100,000 years ago was wherever you, wherever you could step out and grab and kill something. Yeah, well, but they can't do that. No, no. <laughs> it gets delivered in row Whole, five. Whole Foods. Never been surrounded by so much food I didn't want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> So previously, scientists thought until they found this fossil that uh, man was 200,000 years old. So they're only off by 100,000 <laughs> years. Uh, they must be using climate scientists to make their ah! Bell, right there. Absolutely. <laughs> Look, I got, I, I got some pictures of those old fossils. Want to see? Yeah. Uh, no. Ah! <laughs> That's an old commie fossil. Right. Hey, by the way, remember those liberal fashion designers who refused to dress Melania Trump? Dolce and Gabbana were just the opposite. They loved to dress Melania Trump. So guess what they told all the liberal fashion critics? I quote, F off. Yes, <laughs> they told them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story. Natalie. Hey, Tommy, I appreciate that attitude. I just don't want that visual. Oh, I didn't think about that, Matthew. I didn't well, think yeah, about no, that. You should. If we line up all those screaming queens who hate Dolce and Gabbana and made their <laughs> off, that's a lot of packing, Tommy. <laughs> You wrote it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Tommy, later on, we have the professionals, but right now it's time for the Bigot Lottery, their favorite part of the show, only on Tommy's Garage! <laughs> Okay.
healthcare system, broken. The FDA, broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com. You locked your deadbolt, but this happened. Why? Because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins. You need Armor City Doors. There were over one million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone. But when deadbolts fail, Armor City Doors protects. Guaranteed. 713-487-5539. Or stop by ArmorCityDoors.com. Remember, deadbolts do not stop kick-ins. But when deadbolts fail, you need Armor Armor City Doors. ArmorCityDoors.com. Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bull. How about a good karaoke get bar? The Bayou City Bull. Great nightclub. The Bayou City Bull. A good ice house. The Bayou City Bull. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bull. Massage therapist. The Bayou City Bull. Hair salon. Bayou City Bull. Nail salon. Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bonds. Wild night. It's for a friend. friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bull has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Baytown to Katy. Kingwood to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City Bull. Bull. BayouCityBull.com And Twitter. Hey, what are you doing? I'm uh, tweeting. Tweeting? What's that? It's Twitter. Twitter? What's Twitter? Tweet. Tweet. You don't tweet? I, I fart. Is that the same thing? Yes, it's the big alarm. Every week we scour the world to find the biggest idiots who do the dumbest things and we force ourselves to... I'm not getting in trouble because of him again. I'm getting proof he's not working. Come on, man. we got to clean the pool. Why were you watching? It was so funny. I was watching the Bigot Lottery on Tommy's garage. Dude, you just made the Bigot Lottery. Ah! find the biggest idiots who do the dumbest things and we force ourselves to guess the race of the idiot and thus embarrassing everybody in the process. Joining Rosie and Gavin is the lovely Brittany Lee. Brittany Lee! Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> First, let's see the scoreboard. Matthew, what's going on over there, buddy? Well, somehow, miraculously, Rosie is leading this pack. How did that happen? It's on that white privilege. <laughs> He's got 11. Check your privilege. Brittany is... Not too far behind with eight, and Gavin's at ten. Ooh. That's black privilege. We got a barber here. Yeah. That's not me. me we got a close race, camp, and today we have a few special things in store for you guys. So are you ready, panel? Yes. Yeah. Are you ready to play along, audience? Yeah. yeah. Let's begin the bigger lottery in Florida. White. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, there's they're stupid and there's Florida stupid. Off white. <laughs> <laughs> we get an audience vote. <laughs> a man, a teenager, let a friend use his phone to make a call, but the friend took off with the phone. So the kid called the cops. A police officer sent a text identifying himself as a police officer, asking him to turn the phone. No answer. So the cop called the phone with a FaceTime call, which of course means you can see the person who's calling you and vice versa. So what did the thief do? He answered the call and started talking. After he got the call from the police, from the same number as a text, hello, stupid, the cop took a screen grab photo and hauled the dumbass to jail. So we have the obvious question. White, black, Hispanic, or Asian, Rosie. Wow. <laughs> Audience? Hispanic. You're already going to the audience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This wow. is the talk. White, white. 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 They're all over. Okay, it's Florida. The guy is as dumb as a box of rocks. It's, it's got to be a salty in America. Uh, so Rosie goes white. I'm going to go with the equal opportunity, and yes, honky town it is. Yeah. All right, here we go. Super white. Man, it's too, too oh, Gabby, man. you're going to join the crowd? You're going to go uh, counter to everybody here? Fix this, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Let me do everything. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna be chancy and start off a little different this time, since I'm a little different from these two already. Yes, you are. <laughs> you have a plaid shirt. Yes. Uh, yeah. You got that beard kicking. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna stay black. <laughs> Just screw it. Ooh, you're going black. What do you, uh, what do you guys think out here? Hispanic. Let's see what happens when you dial a dumbass. Say hello to Chandler Ridge. Uh, Woo! And the honkiest name of them all. Power, yes, yes. <laughs> Bad news for Chandler. 18 years old, $600 phone. He qualifies for grand theft. See you in the pen, Chandler. Care for reaching for the soap? <laughs> Let's stay in Florida. Why not? Why not? Let's all admit, single moms have it tough, especially when you get the urge to, Blank. you know, what a, what a girl's got to do. Oh, man, already. Of course, a booty call. So in Clearwater, Florida, a single mom with two kids made a booty call to the ex-boyfriend. That's nothing new, but she didn't use a phone. She did it in person. What? Now, that might be interesting, she, but she didn't even bother ringing the doorbell. No, she broke into the house, and what did she find in her ex-boyfriend's bed? Her ex-boyfriend, asleep, wrapped around another woman. Oh, oh. Now it gets interesting. So what did she do? She beat the hell out of that poor lady while she was sleeping. She's now cooling off in the county jail waiting for the bond hearing. I wonder who's watching the kids. White, black, Hispanic, or Asian, Rosie. White, Puerto Rican. Yeah, I was just going to think that. That's uh, kind of a gray area, right? Uh, mm. Breaks in, beats the hell out of the chick. Yeah. That's got Hispanic written all over okay. it. Okay. <laughs> I'm asking any questions on that one. Yeah. Brittany, you huh? dated Hispanic girls. That's happened a couple I times. I don't know. I think there's multiple felonies going on there. B and E plus the assault. I'm going to go to the dark side. I'm going to go black. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Black. Oh. Gavin, Gavin. Uh -oh. See, I was like him. I was like, this sounds like a Puerto Rican bitch. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like in between black and Hispanic. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I, so I can't say Blacksican, so I'm gonna uh, sure say... Sure you can. Sure you can. There's no other. Say Asian. You can, say, you can go black all night if you uh, want Indian to. Indian dot. No, no, no. There you go. Indian uh, feather. <laughs> go black. Uh, go I'm, I'm, go I'm gonna stick with black on this one. I'm just gonna there fly go. black again. Well, We're going black again? Side. What do you guys think out here? We've got <laughs> cake. We got chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet our sneaky booty baby. Amen. Christina Joy Rivera. Oh. She is Hispanic. Two for two, baby. Two for two. And no, I'm not going to comment. Not going there. Yeah. Somewhere in America. I hate when you start that way. Somewhere in America. Somewhere in America. A woman was angry. She caught the neighbor's son making wild, passionate love with her dog. Oh. <laughs> she vowed if he ever tried it again, she would shoot his ass. So what happened? A few months later, she hears a noise out back. She grabbed a gun, went outside, and... There he was, in the throes of wild passion with her sweet, beloved pet. Oh. He ran. She shot at him. She missed. But he was caught, and he was arrested. However, she was caught, and she was arrested. Yeah. Good news, her attorney got her off. Oh, yeah? Ew. Not so good. Oh. Yeah. I'm not sure. Teenage puppy lover didn't get off anyway. White, black, Hispanic, or Asian. Rosie. Oh, I'm going to Gavin on this one. Oh. <laughs> you knew that was coming. He knows the Come on, Gavin. I'm like, this is, this is, this is not my night tonight. No, no, no. Come on, what do we got here? What do we got? The guy. Uh, white. Ooh, Gavin goes white. Brittany. I'm going to go a little exotic. I'm going Asian with this one. You know, they do strange things they with dogs. And it might animals, fit. they eat them. There's a difference. Well, sometimes they fly with your food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, if it's a pit bull, I'm going black. <laughs> I'm gonna go black on this one. You're going black. What do you guys think? It's been Asian. Asian. All over. Asian. Let's take a look. Asian. He's white. Oh. Got one. Got one. Oh my God. For extra credit, is the dog a pit bull, a bull mastiff, a Rottweiler, or a Spuds McKenzie dog? Rosie. Come on. What do we got? I don't want to go. Uh, I don't want extra credit. All right, I'm gonna go with. Uh, the second one. That's the pit bull. The Rottweiler. Rottweiler. Roddy. Brittany. Roddy. Uh, pit bull? <laughs> What's that? Maybe, maybe, maybe bull mastiff. Bull mastiff. Okay. What do you, what do you think, Gavin? He's white. He can't do a dent in a bull mastiff. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the setup there. <laughs> I'm going to say Fuzz McKenzie, whatever. Yeah. What do you guys think out here? What do you guys think out here? Roddy. Guess what we got? A Rottweiler! Hey, I got it! Oh, no. <laughs> no, there's no truth to the rumor that a 
think Roddy had a litter, but we do have a suspicious photo we'd like to share right here. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> What state? Arkansas? <laughs> South, yeah. the next one. Yeah, sure. Arkansas, South Carolina, Minnesota, or yeah. Dallas, Texas? Dallas! 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 Can I have him go first again? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Brittany, you go first. You yeah. go first. All right, I really want to say Dallas because it's Dallas, but I'm going South Carolina. South Carolina. Brittany, go South Carolina. <laughs> Gavin! <laughs> I mean, I'm going to take a soft pass uh, and say Arkansas. Yeah. Really? What do you think, Rosie? It's either Arkansas or Dallas. Ooh. Anybody got a coin? I can't let him get ahead of me, so I'm going to say Arkansas. No, if it was Dallas, what do you guys think out here? it would be Ed Campion. Oh, oh, Minnesota. Oh, yes. Arkansas. Minnesota. Our Mutt Molester is from Arkansas. Oh, oh I should have known. It must be something in the water. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And Somewhere in the world, somewhere in the world, <laughs> police pulled over a van. Seats six. But they thought it might be a little crazy. Mexico! Ah! <laughs> 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 the there were over 40 people crammed into the van. Let's get right to the point. Did this happen in Mexico, yeah. China, Afghanistan, or Minnesota? Minnesota! Rosie. Minnesota. No, 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 no. We, we haven't had an Asian yet. I'm going China on this one. <laughs> Rosie goes China. Brittany. Ooh, Mexico or China. They can, they're small, they can be fit. Oh, they can, <laughs> they can be crammed in. <laughs> they can pack them in. All right, I'm going to go with Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Yeah. Gavin? You know, I swear I want to say Minnesota just to see, but I'm, I'm going to say China. What do you guys think out here? Minnesota! Minnesota. 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 This happened in... Stop this nonsense and wreck them up. Let's check out the scores. What do we got? Well, I've been on the subway in Mexico City, so I know exactly what that feels like. <laughs> Rosie managed to garner a ton of points. Rosie! Yeah, bro. yeah. He's sitting fast at 16. Wow. Brittany Woo. gained one. She's a giant. <laughs> and Gavin is sitting comfortably at 12. Wow, we got a little bit of spread happening here. All right, so uh, uh, audience, how'd you guys do tonight? Five, yes. four, three. Who, who got five? Call me Rosie. One. Who got four? Who got four? Three. Not bad. All right. All right. All right. So great, Matthew. Matthew. I got a buddy. What's coming up next, man? Tell me up, Matthew. Yeah. Matthew gives me guys. Matthew gives me. Stop. <laughs> Tommy, I think I saw a bus full of dudes in Montrose. What? Wow. How would you know that, Matt? Uh, ask Sam. He was driving. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have the professionals. It's only on Tommy's garage. You locked your deadbolt, but this happened. Why? Because deadbolts do not prevent kick-ins. You need Armor City Doors. There were over one million kick-in robberies in 2014 alone. But when deadbolts fail, Armor City Doors protects. Guaranteed. 713-487-5539. Or stop by ArmorCityDoors.com. Remember, deadbolts do not stop kick-ins. But when deadbolts fail, you need Armor City Doors. ArmorCityDoors.com. Healthcare system broken. The FDA broken. 
and the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com. Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bowl. How about a good karaoke bar? The Bayou City Bowl. Great nightclub. The Bayou City Bowl. A good ice the house. The Bayou City Bowl. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bowl. Massage therapist. The Bayou City Bowl. Hair salon. Bayou City Bowl. Nail salon. Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bondsman. Wild night. It's for a friend. friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bowl has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Hey, town to Katie. Kingwood to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City, City Bowl. Bowl. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. Hey, what are you doing? I'm uh, tweeting. Tweeting? What's that? It's Twitter. Twitter? What's Twitter? You tweet. Tweet. You don't tweet? I, I fart. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. Get a little louder on that thing. Yes, Tommy's Garage brings in three professionals from the entertainment world. Gives a moment they will live to regret. Joining, <laughs> joining us is comedian Mike Rayo. How Mike true. Yeah. Houston filmmaker Joey Toronto. Yeah. And the newest member of Tommy's Garage, Sam Griesbaum. Yeah. Well, <laughs> speaking of entertainment, the richest entertainer last year was none, none other than P. Diddy himself, Sean P. Diddy Combs. 130 million bucks last year, almost as much as you made, Mike. Yeah, almost. almost. Yeah. <laughs> well, he uh, is the artist formerly known as Puff Daddy, uh, but he changed uh, Daddy to Diddy. That's how he got rich uh, because he didn't have to pay any child support. Oh, oh that is a hammer all the way. <laughs> Well, I thought it wasn't it wasn't bad for a guy who can't spell the word daddy correctly. <laughs> That's you know, and I knew I knew I should have went to rap college instead of regular college. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> he was stupider and richer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, uh, P. Diddy was the, the, the highest paid entertainer, but Willie Nelson is still just the highest. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, Taylor Swift used to be number one with 170 million. She dropped to only 44 million, which are oh, How did she get? 44? Yeah. How did she get by? I'm dumping her now. Which, yeah. iron wow. which ironically is the number, number of boyfriends she had last year too. So. Wow. Oh. Yes, it's National Sex Day in Britain, according to the sex toy researcher Love Honey. What is the optimal length of time for sex? The magic number is 30 minutes, Mike. That's it. Some, yeah. Somehow, I think this story was written for Joey. <laughs> but uh, oh, it's actually, actually, Tommy, um, when my wife and I have sex, it's it's about forty-five uh, minutes, and it's exhausting. Uh, it starts what? with uh, forty-three minutes of vigorous begging. <laughs> <laughs> then we get undressed, and it's uh, about thirty seconds of apologies. So, <laughs> how do you hammer yourself? That's what you do it right there, so to speak. I do that a lot. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that a softball totally? After it is, yes. Yeah. But. <laughs> Jokes, watch out. <laughs> I, uh, Tommy, I thought the optimal length for most women was 7.5 inches. Well, uh, oh, I guess that's like, anyway. Uh, <laughs> where is it? Where is it? I know you want to give it to me, Brad. What? Yeah. There we go. 
<laughs> I anticipated. <laughs> oh, how about this? How about this? How about this? They thought you said Brandon, though. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I, I was, I'm owning it. I was reading that. Going. Four out of five. Uh, how about this one? Um, <laughs> I was four out of five it. pimps agree <laughs> that. That. Uh, that. Uh, <laughs> you want me Sometimes, you know. Can we do that for real? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can the audience do it? <laughs> Security. Security. Fine. I'll tell you. Go ahead, Sam. By the way, if you're not offended yet, just sit tight. We're going to get to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 30 minutes is the optimal length for sex. That means i got to do it like five times now. Oh. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Six minutes. Well, look, uh, my magic number is about two hours each. That's uh, right. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> At University of Wisconsin, I'm, 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 I'm gonna hurt, that's, that's gonna hurt for a while. Yeah. <laughs> At University of Wisconsin, a woman took an advanced poetry class. Her professor spent the entire semester making everybody read radical lesbian poetry. Yeah. She flashed her boobs and bitched about her ex-husband every day in class. The students complained, this one student complained a lot, the professor gave her an F. So the students sued and the case was dismissed, Mike. Yeah, here's a poem for you. Uh, her name is Donna, here's a poem for you, Donna. Logic is dead and liberals are deaf. You're not a lesbian, so you get an F. Ooh! I like that. That's a good bell right there. A 59-year-old college student. Shouldn't she be uh, pricing RVs? <laughs> calling, out bingo, calling out bingo numbers? Not eating press meat sandwiches in the student cafeteria. You just described What the hell's my... going on here? That was my week last week. <laughs> I'm, I'm, right, I'm right with Mike on this one. Uh, Ma'am, your childish verses truly suck, and you're bigger than a garbage truck. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, well, just so... Oh, it, didn't even know it. It. It's well, it just so happens I'm a poet, and I got a poem. If there's occasion, violets are blue, roses are red. Is that a squirrel on top of your head? <laughs> oh. Roses are red, violets are blue. Might as well go lesbo, because you're ugly, too. Oh. 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 Do I hammer myself on that one? I got it. Speaking of nobody loving you in San Diego, this lovely gal just got married yeah, she's hot. to this train station. <laughs> she is hot. She got watch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Listen to this. over here as the Sunset train. Yes, she says the station's name is actually Deidre. They've been in love since she was three years old, and she's the most stable partner she's ever had. And she wants to have sex. With her. And she wants to have sex with the station. And now they're married, Mike. So Deidre, it's a uh, it's a lesbian train station. Then I uh, I just hope uh, she becomes a porn star because uh, Joe, you're a filmmaker. Can you imagine the tunnel shots we could get? Oh. <laughs> A tenderizer right there. Security. Well, <laughs> I made myself laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. I, I do think this is one way to pull a train on national TV and not get good. <laughs> like taking public transportation isn't already disgusting enough. <laughs> right. Are you sure this isn't just a put on Purell commercial to make sure we all sanitize our hands on a regular basis? Oh. Ooh. Hey, start the video. You ready for this? Look. <laughs> this is bad marriage? This looks more like rape to me. Yeah. That's rape. Let's see that video. Look, she might as well marry a train station. She needs an entire train station to park that freaking caboose. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Size that ass. And last, astronomer Chris Impey claims we will find aliens in the next 15 years. He says there'll be microbes, but that's close enough, Mike. Uh, 15 years? Has he seen any of these people? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, really. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And look at it. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, uh, the, this one uh, here is my favorite. This is a former congressman. Oh. Oh. 
Henry Waxman. That's, I mean, look, scientists, uh, they're among us. You're right. right. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You got one for that. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's talking about, Tommy. I find alien life forms in the bottom of my underwear every morning. Oh! <laughs> they're Klingons. I'm not yeah. going twatting with him anymore. Uh, they're Klingons. <laughs> if we were seriously, if we were seriously interested in locating aliens, we need to get NASA and SETI off of it and hand it over to the Democrats. Because if they'll register them to vote like that, we'll yeah. Yeah. yes, ah, yeah. Right there. Who's he kid? We already have aliens right here on Earth. We got one here, at Tommy's garage. Want to see him? Matthew Gidry, hello, everybody say hello, Matthew. Matthew, yeah, we got jokes for that. Wow. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. I might be an alien, Tommy. Ladies say I'm out of this world. Oh, yeah. Coming up, we wrap up the show with How to Fix America. What? You are watching Tommy's Garage. Come on, dude, you're supposed to be helping me clean the pool. You're gonna get me in trouble again. Yeah, all right, I'm coming. Yeah, this is the Big Lottery. Every week we scour the world to find the biggest idiots who do the dumbest things, and we force ourselves again. I'm not getting in trouble because of him again. I'm getting proof he's not working. Come on, man, we gotta clean the pool. They're shopping at Walmart, riding horses, and doing silly that. Is that crazy or what? That's crazy. Why were you watching that? So funny. I was watching the Bigot Lottery on Tommy's garage. Dude, you just made the Bigot Lottery. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I'm tweeting. Tweeting? What's that? It's Twitter. Twitter? What's Twitter? Tweet. Tweet. You don't tweet? I, I fart. Is that the same thing? Healthcare system? Broken. The FDA? Broken. And the pharmaceutical industry is not there to help you. How can you give your body healthy, maximum performance naturally without chemicals and additives? EarthPatriots.com has found a natural solution. It's native to your body, crucial to your health. This product helps repair your cells and boosts your immune system, effectively slowing down the aging process. Stop by EarthPatriots.com. Hey, where can I get good local news? Pick up the Bayou City Bowl. How about a good karaoke bar? The Bayou City Bowl. Great nightclub. The Bayou City Bowl. A good ice the house. The Bayou City Bowl. Dry cleaner. The Bayou City Bowl. Massage therapist. The Bayou City Bowl. Hair salon. Bayou City Bowl. Nail salon. Nail salon. For a friend. Oh, and a bail bonds. Wild night. It's for a friend. A friend. Yeah. The Bayou City Bowl has local news, local entertainment, local businesses. It even has a joke page, coupons, and Houston calendar girls. Bay Town to Katy. Kingwood to Clear Lake. If you want to know what's going on, pick up a copy of the Bayou, Bayou City, City Bowl. Bowl. BayouCityBull.com and Twitter. America for me, buddy. Okay, um, we're under attack right now. In, in order to save our constitutional republic, we need to ban Sharia law in this country right away, nationwide. Let's go right now. Get it out of the way. Absolutely. Uh, I was going to say take those aliens from the future and infuse them with the 300,000-year-old uh, skeletons, reanimate them, and send them after the Democrats and uh, the scientists that aren't doing anything but stealing tax money. Yeah, yeah I like that. <laughs>
So I think we give John McCain a new job. We make him Secretary of State of Canada. <laughs> and then he gets eight-year-old uh, Lactitia and appoints her to, as the Council General yeah. to San Francisco. Yeah. The, oh, nice. yeah. Like, she'll be there in a couple years anyway, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Look, I'll tell you who I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix the market. That, that pink piggy who wants to screw that train station. I'm going to put her on a train to Washington, D.C., where every building in a whole damn city screws you. Is that something a great way to fix America? Woo! I thought so. That wraps up Tommy's Garage this week. You guys have a good time. Yeah! Woo! Let's thank our panel, Rosie Rosencrantz. Woo! Brittany Lee. That's it. Yeah. And the big man, Mike Gray. Toronto! Yeah. Sam Griesbaum! Yeah. And your announcer is Matthew Guidry! Yeah. And you guys are the best audience in America! Let me hear I'm Tommy Yak, it's time to close the garage. We'll be back next week with another great show. So remember, pull up a chair, pop open that beer. It's time for Tommy's Garage, live from Houston, Texas! Yeah. Yeah.